Okay, it's recording, and then I will start letting them in. How long should we wait before we start the actual presentation? Yeah, we'll wait a couple of minutes. Hi, everyone. Um, if you can be so kind as to not turn on your, your video, I have everyone muted right now, just so you guys can focus on the actual presentation we're about to give. Um, so we'll start in a couple of minutes. Yay, there's people, yay. This is awesome. So the chat is open. Um, so if you have questions during the presentation, feel free to shoot them on, shoot them on over. And I will be asking the questions to Dr. Atwood once we get started or throughout the presentation as well. Amy, you'll help me with the chat, right? Yeah, I, yeah, I'm monitoring the chat fully. Welcome, everybody. I know we have some newcomers. Um, as I said earlier to the earlier group, please keep your videos off. And um, I have muted everybody right now just so we can focus on the presentation. But if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat and I will get to them throughout the presentation, okay? For those of you in the chat who have your name, that's great. If you don't mind adding your first and last name so we could track you and send you a t-shirt afterwards, that would be awesome. So go ahead and edit your name so I can see a first and last name if you haven't already. So Liz, we'll give it about three more minutes just because the president just ended. I hope everyone is doing well today. <laughs> I know it's weird because everyone's muted, um, but we'll, we're doing the best we can here just to make sure you guys can, can ask what you can ask in the chat and also um, focus on who we are and what we're here to talk about today. So we'll get started in about two more minutes. All right, just one more minute and then we'll get started. Okay, so um, I'll start us off, everyone. Hello. I'm so glad you can make it to Accepted Students Day today. I know this is very unconventional and weird and a lot of other schools are doing this as well, but I'm so grateful you guys can be with us and on your Saturday morning <laughs> kind of early. Um, as I mentioned before, we have turned off the, um, the audio, the microphone function, so you cannot actually speak. Um, because we're going to have Dr. Atwood going to be giving you a presentation today on communication art. 
um, and we kindly ask that you also turn off video um, just so we don't have any distractions. Um, you are more than welcome to send questions throughout the presentation in the chat that will go to me directly and I will be asking them to Professor Atwood. Um, and then after the end of the, the presentation, we'll also have a general Q&A and then I'll also give you some instructions moving forward. So without further ado, Dr. Atwood. Thank you. Well, I'm so excited to be with you today. And again, as Amy said, this is not the most conventional way to do it, but I'm so happy to be able to share with you uh, a little bit about our communication arts program. I'll just tell you a little bit about myself first. Um, again, my name is uh, Dr. Liz Atwood. I um, spent um, about 20 years as a newspaper reporter and editor. Most uh, of that time I was at the Baltimore Sun. And uh, so that's a little bit about me. I've been at Hood for 10 years. And um, I teach some of the skills courses. I teach some of the courses such as media writing, um, advanced reporting, the editing class. And I also teach some of the, um, I teach a freshman seminar. So hopefully I'll see some of you in the fall. And I also will teach a class that I really like called Media and Revolution. And I'm also gonna put a plug in for a new course I'm gonna be teaching, um, plan to teach in the um, next spring which is gonna be looking at international journalism. And if all goes well, let's hope all this virus stuff goes away. Uh, we'll be taking a trip to London to look at some of the um, communication arts uh, fields over there. We'll be touring um, Abbey Road Studio where the Beatles recorded. We'll be looking at where they filmed the Harry Potter movies. So we're gonna be doing some really, really exciting things in London next summer. Um, again, hopefully all this will go away. I'm sure it will and things will get back to normal someday. All right, so first of all, I'm going to just give you a little uh, presentation about our uh, program. Feel free to stop at any time and uh, send a, a question to the chat with Amy, and I'll take it slowly, so if you do have questions, we can get those addressed as we go. All right, so let me see if I can do this. Slideshow is coming up. I have a little bit of a slow computer. All right. I am, let's see, from the beginning. Okay, put this down. Let's see if this can get this to work today. All right, again, welcome. Uh, I'm talking to you about the Good Colleges Communication Arts Program. So one of the things I want to emphasize for those of you who might not know where we are, um, is that we have a really great location. We are about 45 minutes from both Baltimore and Washington. And the, the wonderful thing about this for our program is that we can make use of um, bringing in guest speakers or sending our students to internships at some of these really um, nice big media outlets as well. We also have a really robust internship program in Frederick and I'll talk about that in a minute. But uh, I, I just think that you know, we have an, an ideal location. And Frederick is a beautiful city, if you don't know it. Um, it's a small city, um, kind of historic. Uh, everything seems to be in walking distance from the college. But if you want to get out into the bigger markets, we're, we're close by to those as well. All right, so let me emphasize what we teach that might be a little bit different than uh, what you might see at other programs. We are a liberal arts college and we do uh, teach students the communication skills they need in the 21st century, but that's grounded in the liberal arts. And what that means is that the students will get a good grounding in legal, ethical, and professional standards, and also, you know, just a basic foundation of knowledge um, in English, literature, history, political science, economics. Um, you know, it, it, you know I, I always tell my students, you know, it's great to have skills, but you have to know something too. And so we really uh, take that to heart. Uh, I'll just talk about, you know, I know everyone wonders, well, what are you going to do with this? And your parents are thinking, gosh, I'm spending a lot of money on tuition. Are you going to get a job afterwards? And I want to say that we have had some really terrific uh, success stories with our students. Um, you know, one of our graduates from a while ago is now a senior management a manager at Weber Stan Shanwick, a public relations firm. Uh, a more recent graduate is now the general manager of a soccer team in Reno, Nevada. 
Uh, we have uh, one of my students, uh, she's now a park ranger at the National Park Service in Colorado. Um, the, the guy who is the director of interpretation at the National Museum of Civil War Medicine is one of our graduates. We have a sports anchor at the ABC affiliate in Flint, Michigan. The woman who is the director of the communications in Frederick County is a Hood graduate. And these are just a few of the people I've selected. Uh, and I, I selected these students also to emphasize that communication arts is goes, goes beyond journalism. It is almost every which way you can think of communication in whether it's in public relations, um, historical interpretations, sports, uh, and of course, journalism too. And so I wanna just bring that to your attention when I speak of communication arts, it's a very wide ranging field. And so this brings me to my next part about what you can do with a communication arts degree. Uh, you'll see that, you know, again, it's very, very diverse. You can go into advertising if that's your interest. And some of the things you might do in that field would be being a copywriter, uh, being an event planner, media planner, public relations, a publications editor. Those of you who might be more interested in business, there are business writers, and editors, corporate communication specialist, audiovisual specialist, could be a travel and conference manager. Now, I am not gonna get into this particularly, but I do wanna emphasize that we have a, another major besides communication arts that some of our students and, you know, go into, and that's called the Integrated Marketing Communications major. That is a combination of business and communication arts. And so some of our students you know, find that, um, you know, they, they may think that they were really interested in business. And then after they take a few economics classes, they realize that's not for them and decide, hey, you know, it's really more integrated marketing is what I'm interested in. And conversely, we've had students who are interested in communication arts and they say, you know, I really would like to have a more robust ground, uh, grounding in business. And so they also migrate over to integrated marketing. So I just, I'm not gonna speak about that major, but I wanna bring it to your attention that we have it. Uh, keeping on with communication arts, um, if you're interested in working for a college, uh, you can be a director of the college news service, a development officer, a communications coordinator. And I bet you probably could also be working in the admissions office. <laughs> Amy was an English major, but you know, the communication arts is within the English program. Mm -hmm. Uh, those of you who are interested in journalism, is, which is, of course, what's near and dear to my heart because I spent so many years as a journalist, uh, you can be a copy editor, a reporter, editor, a critic, a broadcaster, and we've had a lot of those, bloggers and photojournalists. If you're interested in government and politics, uh, that's, of course, all in the news these days, uh, you can be campaign director, government affairs coordinator, a legislative assistant, a museum curator, or a speech writer. And those of you who might be more interested in law, I, want to, I do wanna say that this is a great major for those of you who are interested in going on to law school. And we've had some students do that. Um, and it is a, gives you a great foundation in, because the basic of communication of law, to go into law school, you have to be able to write and you have to be able to analyze and think critically. And we, we really develop those skills in the communication arts program. All right, um, I'm gonna give you a, just a quick sample of courses and I'm gonna have other slides later that will tell you, you know, the courses that are required of the major, but just to tease those out a little bit, some of the samples of courses we use would be media writing, you know, learning how to write for different platforms, whether it be newspaper, website, public relations, broadcasting. We look at the theories as well. We look at how mass media and society work together. We have a lot of skills courses, courses in graphics, courses in visual media production. Um, we look at law and ethics with an emphasis on the communication law and communication ethics. Those of you who are interested in uh, you know, screenwriting, we have uh, classes in screencraft and screenwriting, uh, multimedia storytelling, so we learn to tell stories across all platforms. Uh, we have a new course coming up in this fall, which is on crisis communication, so if you follow the all this virus, COVID virus, and every time they, somebody gives a press conference, they're having to draw on the uh, crisis communication and public relations campaigns. Dr. Atwood, yes. I had a student ask me a question about what are some of the classes that are offered for the integrated marketing major? And I know that's not exactly your focus, but I was wondering if you had sort of an idea. 
So it will be some of the same ones uh, in the integrated you will have, in the grid integrated marketing. You would have also your media writing class. You would have uh, the ethics class. You would have communication law. So some of them are the same. Where it gets a little bit different is you would be required to take um, a, a, a economics class, a business management course. Um, so you would have to draw on some of the business classes. I don't have those. I, I'm just doing it off the top of my head because I advise some of those students. I don't have a slide that shows all of those requirements, but just take it to uh, the idea that they would be drawing out of the business major. And I'll refer you to also, if you go to the Hood website and you go to under academics tab, you scroll to the bottom of that, you go to our course catalog, you can then click on the majors and you can see all of the courses that are required in the major and you can see what's required in the integrated marketing major. Jamie, if you want to just um, send me your email, I can also send you a major sheet for the integrated marketing communications major so you can see it all in one place. Um, I know the catalog can get a little bit confusing, so feel free to send that to me privately and I'll get that to you after the session. Yeah, and then I'll, I'm going to show you some slides. And again, this is recorded so you can refer back. I'll show you the, the uh, courses that are required in the CMA major um, and you can sort of compare and contrast the two of them. All right, so one of the things I, I really like to tell students that I think that we offer is we have the expertise, you know, we have outstanding faculty, we have the technology, but we offer small class sizes. In our skills courses, the class size is capped at 15 students. And this makes all the difference in the world when I can actually know all of my students and I know their strengths and weaknesses. I keep track in my mind who's having trouble with what area and I can really reach out and work with them in a more individualized basis. So the small class size, I think, is a really nice component of our program. Um, Hands-on learning, as I mentioned before, you know, we have the equipment, um, you, know, you know, whether it's the cameras, uh, you know, whatever the technology is, we have it. And, you know, again, you're working closely with your professors to use that equipment. And our new studio, uh, it's, getting, it's a couple years old now. It's uh, a broadcast studio and uh, we you have internet uh, television stations. So we, we put our programs up and the students get a lot of practice with using the studio uh, to produce sports shows, broadcast, and we bring in guest speakers and the students get practice working in the studio to um, you know, interview those folks on the camera then there's, they get a chance to work in the control room, operating those cameras. And so that's a really nice benefit that we have as well. Here's a snapshot of our faculty members, our dedicated faculty. Uh, Catherine Orloff is the director of our program. Her background is in film and uh, public relations. She does actually continues to work in public relations for a, a uh, movie per, uh, union in, in Los Angeles. She flies out to Los Angeles every now and then to help with them. And uh, she teaches our screen craft, our screenwriting classes. She offers a lot of courses in, um, in, in film actually, you know, so Hitchcock and, you know, t uh, uh, classes about how the movies portray journalists. So she's our go-to person on the, on the film business. And you see my name there, I am, I teach, again, as I said, a lot of the skills courses. My background is in uh, journalism as a newspaper reporter and an editor. Alan Goldenbach is uh, an assistant professor of journalism. His background is in sports writing. He was a sports reporter for the Washington Post. And he's been a, a great uh, resource to help our students get, journal uh, get internships in the sports uh, reporting field. And our newest member of our program is Brooke Fowler. And she is, um, whoops, I'm so sorry. What happened? What happened here? Oh, there we go. Um, Brooke Fowler is a, um, her background is in public relations and she is uh, gonna be having her, getting her PhD in public relations and she's our PR person. All right, uh, just a couple of things. Again, we offer, uh, you know, my advanced reporting class. I, uh, we work on uh, covering the state legislature. We go down to Annapolis and the students get to cover bills before the General Assembly and talk to the legislators down there. Uh, our student newspaper is, uh, had been a club starting this fall. It's going to be actually a course. 
and uh, it's going to be a practicum. It's going to be required of everyone in the major. And this will give us a chance to, I think, give the students credit for actually probably putting out the, the newspaper. And plus, you know, I'll be able to give a little bit more uh, hands-on guidance to help them, you know, put out a great product. I mentioned the major requirements. I'm happy to spend as much or little time on this as you want, but I'll just sort of just describe for you the, uh, the courses that are required of the major. This was newly adopted. Um, everyone will take Mass Media and Society as a survey course, of just uh, how media fits into society. Everyone takes Media Writing One, where you learn to write uh, the basic news story. Everyone takes Speech, Editing, Visual Media Production, which you use the cameras to, you know, tell basic news stories. Everyone takes Graphics. Media Writing Two is a more advanced class. It's um, mostly feature writing. Everyone takes Communication Law, Public Relations, the student media practicum, which I mentioned before, which is putting out the student newspaper and website. Everyone has an internship in communication. And I think this is a, something I wanna emphasize. The larger programs do not require students to have internships. And we feel like this is essential. Uh, you cannot get a good feeling for the profession or really get a job unless you have real life experience. And most of our students will take more than one internship. And we put our students in lots of different environments. Sometimes they're doing social media, sometimes they're doing visual media production, sometimes they're doing journalism. Um, you know, we, the students, we really know, we, all students find internships, we're in a great position because we have more employers than we have students. And um, so uh, students never lack for finding internships in our area. Uh, let's see, everyone takes something on in an ethics class and then our capstone we've changed now is going to be multimedia storytelling where you will combine all the things you've learned about all the ways to tell stories in print, graphics, video, um, and of course ethics and law and create your final senior project. Dr. Atwood, we have about a minute or two left. Okay, I'll hurry up. <laughs> um, gosh, time flies when you're having fun. Okay. Uh, just quickly, we also, as I mentioned, offer theory courses in history um, and screen craft and film, and I'll move along with that. And we have photojournalism, screenwriting, the advanced classes in the skills. And we're gonna have a new podcasting course this fall as well. All right, and our extracurricular activity, I'll mention quickly, we have Blazer Radio, which students really enjoy. They put on their own music shows and also news and sports programs. Some of the internships I've mentioned, Weber Shanwick, WDMB TV in Hagerstown, Frederick Magazine, Three Roads Communication, Sirius XM Radio is in Washington, MPT TV in, in Baltimore, United Way, these are just some examples. And just quickly, our looking up, we are going to be expanding our program. Uh, we're going to be uh, in, the, in the next year or so building a bigger studio and adding some audio and visual uh, capability, uh, audio and visual editing suites. And so we'll be uh, expanding this program and look, we're looking to the future. We're always looking to modify, change, and adapt to the new world of communications. Okay, sorry for the rushed ending, but can I help and answer any other questions? Dr. Atwood, can you stop sharing your screen? Oh, uh -huh, sure, let's see, how do Thank I do you. that? Hold on, uh, stop share, I'll stop. <laughs> there we go. Okay, perfect. Okay, so everyone, I'm actually going to be opening up the chat so that everyone can share their socials. And this is a request for, um, for everyone to get to know um, the other students who are interested in the program. Um, so feel free to send any more questions into the chat, um, talk to each other. I do want to let you know that we only have a couple more minutes left, so I want to leave you with some parting information. Um, next up in our programming is live Hood Hello sessions. Um, this is where you get to hear from current students who will tell you about life at Hood and also answer your questions. That's a bit more interactive than the session was today. You can also begin inter interacting with members of your upcoming class. So that's like the biggest part of this. Um, freshman students, they have three options um, to join a Hood Hello. If one is full, just move on to the next one. 
transfer students only have one option. Um, and of course, you can always check back later to watch the recorded sessions of any of the other mini courses that were available. Um, so if you wanted to check out Professor Goldenbach's session on skepticism, that will be available um, at a later date. So feel free to um, move on to the next session. I'll include the link of where you need to go. And you can select a hood hello and also chat with each other for the next couple of minutes before we close out. Yes, thank you again. I'm really excited to have been able to talk with you and feel free to ask me any questions. If you want to have think of something later, you can email me at atwood at hood, A-T-W-O-O-D at hood.edu. I'm happy to talk with you. I'll be linking that in the chat as well. Thanks. Thanks, Rachel. Thanks, Josie, <laughs> for putting your Instagrams. That's great. Do you guys have any other questions before you head out? Okay, well, feel free to move on to the next session. Like I said, this is recorded. Um, it was a pleasure chatting with you all today, and I hope you had a wonderful ASD. So feel free to move on to the next session. Have a good day, Allison and Rachel. <laughs> Chat with you guys soon. Okay, that was it. We're done. I think we did pretty well. All right, thank you so much. Of great. course. I will stop recording now. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Appreciate